I'm here at the local flying field I belong to. And yes, I got a real bad cold. Kind of sucks. So, didn't get on the mountains or nothing. So, on today's menu, we have... This one's actually brand new, but it's a year old. It's never been outside. It's never flown. So, this is actually a Avant the Devil with 2750 kV motors. 4S, so. So, it should be quick. Uh, good old rooster. It's getting uh, nice and worn in and dirty and scratched up. It's only a few weeks old, but uh, it's been a pretty good machine. I've got it tuned to where I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, it's pretty reliable so far. And good old M MB Epic 229. This one's been down for a couple months. I, I robbed the VTX to get this one going. And then I purchased one, and then the new one was just... I had issues setting it up for some reason. The, the menu button was a bit weird and uh, I could never get it to hold its settings. So I had a little bit of help from, I think, uh, Mike Chen. I think he's from TBS Support. We went through this last night and uh, didn't really get too far with it, but I went over everything again this morning and uh, this afternoon and got it to hold. It's, it seems to be good, so we'll do a test flight. We'll do a test flight down here where I can find it. Make sure this VTX is reliable. All right, let's get in the air. First up is gonna be the uh, Avant, the Devil. It's not gonna have a GoPro. I'm just gonna run it uh, FPV cam. Don't wanna risk anything here. I am surrounded by water, so. I'm just gonna keep it on the runway for the first uh, battery and just make sure everything's working properly. And then we'll go for a rip. Um, it, on these motors, I'm expecting 110 miles an hour or so, so 175, 180 kilometers an hour down here at sea level on these props. And uh, which is plenty. So let's try it out. Of course, the rain started. So I did have one flight with the Avant. Um, I expected it to be a bit more of an animal. I mean, that was a pretty weak battery on there, but um, it's super smooth. The motors are just uh, hard to explain. Very silky, the throttle response, is nothing jumpy. The props are really quiet, I'm surprised. I'm running the uh, Avant race props. Um, yeah, surprisingly quiet. So we'll get another run. When the rain stops, we'll get some better batteries through it. And we'll fly the other two, of course.
Okay, I quite like the uh, Avon Devil actually. You know, it's just uh, the power is there, but being high KV, it's kind of higher up, so it takes a bit. Uh, it's like a turbo comes on a little bit later, but uh, there's no GoPro on it, so it is responsive. I think with a GoPro on it, it's going to be a little bit more sluggish on the bottom end, but um, it's not hard to fly. It really flies nice. Um, we're gonna we're gonna put Chucky up. Chucky's got lots of attitude. He's a 5S, 5.5 uh, inch props. Uh, from what I remember, yeah, he, he can't be a handful. If you push this one, uh, he'll bite you back. Let's fly it. Epic 229 uh, flies fine, but the VTX is giving me uh, lots of lines. We just got noise in it, so I don't think it's VTX's fault. So I'll uh, have to do some cleanup stuff or some filtering yet, but uh, at least it's back in the air. And next is the rooster. I quite like this thing actually, just because it's just been uh, not giving me any headaches, I guess. It was a little bit wobbly before, a little bit of jello. But I think I've got most of it sorted out now. Um, it's just not the most powerful, it's a little heavy, but it's a good cruiser and uh, it likes to just. It likes big terrain, it likes to just run, so it's kind of my type of flying. Big open areas and some freestyle.
Well, that was kind of fun until I hit that tree. <coughs> Branches stuck up on me. And I crashed it in here, which is fine, but it's actually a lot closer to the water than I thought. <laughs> it's in here. It must just be suspended above this disgusting whatever. <sighs> And a couple months ago, I had to retrieve a quad and I jumped across a ditch like this and I fell through the ice and it was really gross. I really don't want to fall in this. It's just not... Uh... Come on. Well, it didn't go in the water at least, so I got to be happy with that. It's just going to be... Uh, I can't even see it. Definitely not a place you want to be digging around in. Because I will fall in, I know it. Birds up in the tree laughing at me. It's just here, it's right on the edge. God. Of course, it's all big, thick pr prickle bushes here. I know you guys are just waiting for me to go for a bath. Oh shit, right up the arse. I'm not really into it today, because uh, I don't know if this ground is solid or what. There's grass growing. <laughs> okay. Oh man, this sucks. Why are you, Quad? Oh, it's over there a lot more. Okay. Oh, I hate this. Oh. <sighs> well, no, it's it's not on this side. I was hoping it was over here where it's grassy. I can hear it, I can actually arm it. It sounds like it's underneath. I think it just piled right through, so it must be just hanging above the water line. Oh man. I'm pretty well at the end of where I can stand and I'm gonna be fucking going in here. It's right below me, so. How did it get underneath all this? <laughs> Stupid, it's just buried in here somewhere. The worst spot, besides going in the water, this really is the worst spot. Because I can't see it, and if I reach for it, I'm going to be going in with it. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's over there a bit more. I really can't reach it. Well. All right, I've got a visual with it. Believe it or not, it's in the bottom of this pile here. I mean, how that happened, I have no idea. There it is, still recording. Hey, GoPro, how are you doing? How did you end up down here? Honestly, this is silly. I want to grab you because you're still armed. Like, what are you doing, dude? Uh, is, is you a pilot, or what's going on here? You look okay. I should be all right. Let's get out of here. 